Yeah, we do actually. Let me show you it. So we have a specific wildland boot. We call it our Fire Inlander. Lots and lots of hot shots and smoke jumpers and all kinds of firefighters wear this boot. Um, it's made specifically with the wildland guy in mind and they're really happy with it. Sure, so the biggest thing would be the material. So we build our boots with a special thread called Technora. It has no melting point. Uh, and it's, you know, if it's never going to burn out or anything like that, if you're walking on ash pits or actually literally walking through flames or you got your drip torch and something falls on your boot or something. And then also the soles that we use, it's a specific sole called this, the Red X sole made by Vibram. It's actually legitimately made to withstand heat and it's for the firefighter. Wears like iron, it's really good. And then all the thread, like I said, obviously. And then another big thing is the adhesives that we use are made specifically not to melt and burn out and de-lamp. So it's made for the, with the wild guy, wild end guy in mind. Breaking is really easy, almost none. Um, the reason that is because we build them so well um, that you just you put the boots on, they just kind of pop on. And so they're really, really comfy. The material is really high quality. So there's no kind of two, three week break in period where your feet are hurting and all that stuff. And I feel like if that's happening, something's wrong with the boots. Either they don't fit correctly or they're just built incorrectly. The boots are really comfortable. Um, just to give you a little look on the inside with, with a good cutout is. What you can see is literally it's all leather. There's no plastic or carton. We have a really good arch support and a real good heel support. So as you're walking and hiking, all the pressure is distributed evenly across your feet. It's really amazing. Um, they're not going to cause you blisters or, or you know cramps or anything like that. It's really, really nice. A a after a day or two of kind of wearing them in, they're going to feel like slippers. Like I said, the breaking is minimal and they're very, very, very comfortable. You won't even tell that you've got a, that you've got a serious boot on. So typically what we've seen, they last a long time. Uh, typically what we've seen is someone who's wearing them every single day in really tough conditions, you'll get about a year and a half to two years before you need to just resole them, that's changing the tread. And then you'll do that a few times, maybe get a rebuild in there. You know, and the, the upper portion, the part that wraps around your calf, I've seen the boots lasting for 15, 16, 17 years. Sure, so the, obviously the easiest way would be to come to the store if you're local or within the area, but if you're not, that's totally okay. You can hop on our website and you can print out a fit sheet and fill it out and send it in to us. We custom fit many, many guys that way. Another easy way is you can either call us if you already know your size and just kind of talk to us and say, hey, this is what I've worn before, can you do the same thing? And we absolutely can. Sure, so uh, a lot of guys ask us about this and because maybe a lot of people aren't really accustomed to the high heel, so we designed a low heel boot, low heel, low arch, super comfy, and, and it takes away kind of that feeling that you're picked up if you don't really like that. I'd say about 40% of our boots are having low heel if that's just what you're accustomed to, so it's no, no problem. Still a comfy boot, still a tough boot, just a little bit of a different design. Yeah, thanks a lot, thanks for coming in.